another time when I was in the mill, uh, I came in and as at night, I was just checking things out, and I found one of the the, the mechanics, we call them boilers in those days, leaning over one of the pieces of equipment. I wonder what's wrong with him. I went up, and he was drunk as a skunk. So I said, you know the rules. Get your stuff and, and uh, head out of here. Pick up your pay tomorrow morning. So he grumbled, but he left. And, and then uh, a while later again, I was catching up on some work. And uh, he came down. And he was uh, obviously ready to have a fight with me. And I, I was pretty good. I'd, I'd been on the wrestling team at the university. And I taught on our combat when I was in the Army. And you were boxing, too, when you were and a kid? And I was boxing <laughs> kids, so I wasn't too worried. I fought a lot of big guys. And, and uh, so he came in, and, and not far behind him came the, the uh, president of the union and the secretary, two tough guys from the roughing mill, big, strong guys. And uh, Frank Bobby, who's a communist, and the other guys, but they were good workers. They came in, they grabbed this guy, put him in the chair, and wheeled him out. And I said, what was that all about? When they came back, and they said, well, Jerry, did you know he had a knife and he was going to kill you? And I said, oh, <laughs> I made him in trouble. <laughs> but they were, that was the president and the secretary of the union. And uh, I got along well with the union. They liked somebody with a strong hand in there. And eventually I had to cut it down from three shifts to two because we could produce all the steel that the melt shop could produce in two shifts. And uh, so I said, we got to, I called the union guys in and I said, we've got to cut out one total shift. And he said, I, and I'm not going to do it by seniority. And I said, uh, I'm going to pick the crew and if you guys don't like it, you can Stay out until hell freezes over, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And they said, Jerry, just settle down. Uh, we know it's a tough call, but just let us uh, screen the people that you're going to cut out. I said, okay. And they had one guy that they protected. 